Howdy freeze dryers, it's Brian with Retired at 40. Welcome back to the Live Life Simple Kitchen. We have a real easy recipe today. It's gonna to be a quick video. Uh, it's a good snack alternative, good uh, alternative to chips. And we're gonna replace one orange chip with another kind of orange chip because we're gonna do some freeze dried sweet potato chips or yam chips. And you can ask yourself, am I gonna be able to make freeze dried sweet potato chips at home? And you can answer yourself, I am. And it's probably way too early for dad jokes, but I've already done it, so you're just gonna have to suffer through them with me. Uh, first thing we need to do is just take the ends off of these yams or sweet potatoes, and then we're gonna skin them, and then we're gonna run them through a food processor. And while I'm taking the ends off of these, I want to just mention that I got this recipe from a social media group user, which is, where I get about half of my recipes from. It's just a great place to connect with people that have common interests with you. And before we start skinning those sweet potatoes, you're gonna wanna get a pot of water boiling and an ice bath ready. And I like to use my kitchen sink with some ice in it after I clean it out really well. And now we're just gonna skin these and it's not a big deal if you don't get all of it. It's kind of hard to skin sweet potatoes because they just don't really have even terrain like a, like a potato does. So this next part you can do a couple different ways. Uh, you can either dice them pretty thin. You want them thicker than you would normally want than a, like a potato chip would be. And you can also run them through a food processor. Uh, mine has a, a smaller spout, so they would have to be cut down. And if I do it that way, it won't give me that nice circular shape. But that doesn't bother me a whole lot, and just being able to run them really fast is worth it to me. And our water is really nice and hot now. We're just gonna go into this hot water bath for about three to five minutes. We're not trying to cook them. We're just going for a quick blanch. And if you don't do this, if you skip this step, the texture when they're freeze dried is not gonna turn out the way you want it to. Then we're gonna strain them and put them in our cold water bath. Then we're gonna strain them again. We're gonna go onto silicone or parchment from freeze drying supplies. So the best way to do these is just to overlap. Uh, some of my chips got a little thin. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. And now while these are wet, it's a good time to add some spices. I did smoked paprika on this. And then I think I'm gonna add some pumpkin pie spice on this. And the last cycle I did in the freeze dryer was freeze dried hot peppers. So pretty much anything that I do for the next few cycles is probably gonna have some spice to it. But that's okay, we like spicy. And this might seem obvious, but we do not want any any oil on this because you will not be happy with the results. Oil is not gonna freeze dry, but we can also throw a layer of parchment on top and do another row. Just don't get too crazy with it or it's gonna take forever to freeze dry or it might not freeze dry all the way. All right, we're ready to go. I'm not gonna pre-freeze this round. I'm just gonna go straight into the freeze dryer. So I mentioned that I got this idea from social media group. So with that said, it's a great place to meet other freeze dryers. It's a great place to pick up some tips and some tricks and possibly some recipes. So to find that, you just go to Facebook or to MeWe and search Retired at 40's freeze drying group. And if you're finding this video helpful or any of our other freeze drying videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm and it really helps helps these videos get out to the proper people, future freeze dryers and fellow freeze dryers. And don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell to get notifications of future videos that come out. For us, that's every Sunday at 8 a.m. You'll get a new freeze drying video every single week. And if you need to pick up some silicone mats or some parchment paper or any of the other products that you've seen in this video, go to freezedryingsupplies.com. That's the store that we started at this channel to help streamline the freeze drying process. And if you're ready to pull the trigger on a freeze dryer, make sure you consider using our affiliate link. It really helps us with our social media groups. It helps us do free giveaways of freeze drying products. And it also helps us develop new products to make freeze drying as streamlined as possible. And now through the magic of YouTube, our sweet potato chips are gonna be 
done. Well, I thought last week was the fastest time that I had ever seen, but this week, even faster. We're just over 19 hours. Uh, 19.03 is what we ended up at. Well, there they are. They turned out really, really nice. So I really like these smoked paprika ones. You still are, you can still get a crunch just like you will with a potato chip. It's not quite as dramatic as a, a greasy fried potato chip. But the paprika adds a nice little addition with the sweet potato. The pumpkin pie spice, I'm not a big fan of. But I would definitely recommend some kind of seasoning. I didn't do three trays, they're just plain. They are pretty, pretty plain, so even some salt would do a whole lot of good. A super simple, easy, and quick recipe for you today. And if you've done sweet potato chips before, uh, let me know what you add to them, and let me know down in the comments section. In the meantime, this is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple. We'll catch you next week.